Today we're diving into the deep world of body movements. Understanding these concepts is crucial for providing top-notch patient care. For all of our blogs on movement, click the link in the description below. Now, let's get started. Navigating the human anatomy can be downright challenging, but I've got you covered. We'll explore four key movement pairs, abduction versus adduction, inversion versus eversion, flexion versus extension, and opposition versus reposition of the thumb. So first up, let's tackle abduction and adduction. These movements describe how limbs move in relation to the body's midline. So let the name help you here. Abduction moves limbs away from the midline. Imagine lifting your arms to form a T with your body. You can remember the difference between abduction and adduction because adduction simply adds it back to the body. So with adduction, it brings limbs toward the midline. So simply remember, adduction is adding the limb and bringing it back to the body. This applies to the wrists, fingers, thighs, and even your toes. Another example is abduction away from the body or adduction, adding it back to the body closer toward the midline. Now let's talk about foot movements, inversion and eversion. Inversion turns the sole inward toward the body's midline. So simply think in for inward. Now eversion turns the sole outward away from the midline. So you can simply remember E for evert or outward. These movements are crucial for adapting to different surfaces and maintaining balance. They're also important when assessing ankle injuries. Now moving on to flexion versus extension. These describe the angle between the body parts. Flexion decreases the angle, bringing the body parts closer together. So think of bending your elbows to bring your hands closer toward your mouth. And extension increases the body angle, moving body parts apart. So imagine straightening your leg from a seated position. These movements occur in many joints, including the elbows, knees, shoulders, and the spine. An example of shoulder extension is moving your arms back. And shoulder flexion is moving your arms up. Lastly, let's discuss a unique human movement, thumb opposition. Opposition brings the thumb pads into contact with the finger pads. It allows us to grasp objects and perform precise tasks. Now, reposition, on the other hand, returns the thumb to resting position. So, understanding these movements is vital for number one, assessing patient mobility, number two, identifying injuries like ankle sprains, number three, developing treatment plans, and number four, improving patient care. For example, when dealing with an ankle sprain, you'll need to determine if it's an inversion or eversion injury and assess its severity. For many injuries involving these movements, like ankle sprains, remember the RICE protocol. R is for rest, I is for ice, C for compression, and E for elevation. Always assess the injury severity and consult with the healthcare providers for proper treatment. So to remember these concepts, number one, visualize the movements, number two, practice on yourself, and number three is to use diagrams and pictures. So there you have it, a comprehensive guide to essential body movements. Mastering these concepts will make you a more effective nurse. So keep practicing and you'll be an anatomy pro in no time. And be sure to click the link here to access more information on this topic. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next videos.